Hi, it's uh, Reverend Mitch here. Uh, just a little video to say hello and to uh, wish you all a very happy Easter. Uh, and of course, at the moment, we can't get together to have uh, families at four time together in church. So I've put together various different uh, ideas and craft ideas and songs and that sort of thing that you can join in with at home. Uh, and we can have all the fun of uh, families of four, but uh, in our own homes. So in the email that I've uh, sent out, there are ideas in there for uh, making your own uh, Easter cross using egg cartons. Um, there's a video in there that our wonderful pianist, uh, families of four, uh, Liz, has prepared uh, that tells you step by step how to make your very own origami um, Easter basket that you can put mini eggs in and that sort of thing. So do have a look at that. It's a really good uh, little craft idea there. And there's loads of other crafts uh, on there as well. We've also got some links to some YouTube clips for some of the favourite songs that we sing at Families at Four. So check those out as well. And uh, also encourage your mums and dads and carers to have a look at our special Families at Four uh, Facebook page and on there we've uh, got various different stories and our curate Reverend Toyhold has recorded a special uh, version of that uh, favourite song at uh, Families at Four, Shine Bright Dazzle Dazzle, so you can join in with that uh, on there as well. And one of the other ideas on the uh, special email that I've sent out is uh, to make your very own Easter garden. Um, it's one of the things that churches have done for, for years and years and years, is to make uh, their own Easter garden that shows the uh, empty tomb of Easter day. And you can use uh, stuff you've got lying around in the house, or if you've got a garden, perhaps some uh, stuff you might have lying around in the garden. It doesn't have to be elaborate, it doesn't have to be particularly fantastic, but again, in the um, email that I've sent, there's a step-by-step -step guide in there for making your very own Easter garden. So perhaps have some fun with that. And of course, what we'd really love is if you do do some of these crafts, we'd love to see some pictures of them and you can upload uh, the pictures that, of your craft activities um, up to the Facebook page, the Fa Families at Four Facebook page, and we can see what you've been up to. That would be really good to be able to share with you in that. So, um, I hope you can make use of the uh, various different things that I've sent out. Um, at the bottom of the email, there is also a, a short prayer that's uh, one that you can use before a meal time, And it's just a fun way of saying thank you to God for all that he gives us and helps us to remember that we are loved by him, that he cares for us, and that he walks alongside us in all that we do. So uh, do say that prayer together as a family uh, from time to time. And also uh, just to uh, mention this little chap here who you may have noticed, um, I've started doing quite a few of these uh, videos online, live on Facebook and on the Benefice, Facebook, uh, Benefice website. And someone commented, uh, that the Hungry Caterpillar was sitting on my bookshelf. Um, and so he's now become a, a regular uh, companion in uh, the videos that I'm doing. And uh, so do check out some of the other uh, clips that I've put up on, on the website and on Facebook and see if you can spot uh, the Hungry Caterpillar who is always somewhere in the videos. In the meantime, let me uh, wish you all a very peaceful and happy Easter. And uh, we really look forward to being able to welcome you back to church for our next Families at Four session, whenever that may be. So in the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and God bless.